All right, so this is YouTube Studio. This is the behind the scenes look at your YouTube channel. If you are interested in looking at analytics as well as different tools and settings to get the most out of your YouTube channel, this is where you want to go. If you're logged in to YouTube and you're on your channel like so, the place to go to get to YouTube Studio, you can click on manage videos or customize channel down here, but also in the upper right hand corner, you can go to YouTube Studio. So in YouTube Studio, like I said, there's a bunch of features. The reason that I thought this was a good time to make this video about changes to YouTube Studio and hidden features are because they've been moving things around on us, making some positive improvements. But uh, I wanted to let you guys know exactly where to find this information. So a lot of the stuff used to be in settings. We're going to jump into settings here real quick. Gen, uh, general, your currency, if you had the need to change that, is right there. Your channel settings, this is where you're going to put keywords for your actual actual channel itself. Uh, there's some advanced settings here, whether or not your content's made for kids. Also feature eligibility. I think we have everything enabled here on the channel, but if for some reason you didn't, this might be where you come to actually see what requirements you need to fill in order to get some features uh, uh, turned on and ready to go. Now, upload defaults is actually a feature that I think is very powerful, but not a lot of people take advantage of or not enough people take advantage of. And that basically allows you to predetermine a bunch of information that you can save that automatically gets put on all of your videos when you upload them to YouTube. Now, this is uh, powerful because instead of having to go in and enter all this information for your description every time you upload a video, you can have it pre-populate. So all you're doing is coming in at adding a description to the top, getting your title out there, and then going and publishing your video. You can also set your videos to default to unlisted or private when you upload them, which I do think is a pretty uh, important thing to do. I like to get through the upload process on its own, make sure everything is good to go. You don't have any interruptions. And once it's safe and secure, you can jump into your video list and actually do everything, optimize your content, your SEO and all of that, and then publish your video to YouTube. So I set all my videos to default to unlisted. That way I know I can get them up on the platform if I wanna schedule them for later or make some changes and publish. I have that flexibility after the fact and it's definitely the way to go uh, as well. So tags we definitely have seen uh, have been seeing a trend that tags are becoming less and less important on YouTube it seems like every time they put out an update tags are hidden. These particular tags though are your upload default tags, which are a little bit different. And I honestly don't see a ton of value. I don't use any single tags across all my videos. So I wouldn't be surprised if this doesn't go away altogether. This might be helpful perhaps if you are, I don't know, referencing common misspellings of your channel or something related, but you don't have to put your channel name or your name or any of that in tags. YouTube is smart enough to know that that information uh, is related to your channel and what your channel's name is and all that. You don't have to uh, keep telling them that in these sections. Now, we also have permissions. If you want to add additional people to gain access to your account, you can do that in here. Uh, community settings. This is going to show people who are moderators as well as some hidden users uh, who are no longer allowed to participate on your channel because they don't know how to behave. All of those things are found in the settings. Now, there used to be some features in settings that are no longer there. One of which, probably one of the more important ones is branding. So where branding ended up is over here in this new customization tab. So the customization tab took a lot of those features that we use in order to make our channel look good and put the content out that we want people to see, all of that stuff into this customization tab. It's also, if you go back to your channel, this customized channel uh, link that used to bring us to like the old version of YouTube now actually brings us directly to the customization tab in the back end of uh, YouTube. So here we can set our channel trailers for people who've never been to our channel, as well as people who are returning subscribers to the channel. This is now where we set our playlists that appear out on our channel. So that is important too. The one thing that I'll let you know about here in terms of the back end, what I've found is when you adjust your featured sections and then you click the publish button, which I'm realizing is slightly behind the tube templates logo, but right here, this publish button, 
I've noticed that it's not immediate. It seems to take a couple minutes uh, or so for that to actually appear on your channel. So if you do click publish and you don't see them right away, don't worry about it because it is in fact going to update eventually. So, all right. So the next thing we want to cover here in YouTube studio is the branding tab. As you recall, this used to be in the settings section. A lot of people uh, went to the settings section. In fact, I did a video on how to add a custom uh, subscribe watermark to your videos. And I sent people to the branding tab and settings because that's where it used to live. And I started getting feedback from people. Uh, some people had the new version with the customizations and some people had settings. So if you were looking for the branding section and you could not find it, this is where it lives now, unless you're still on a previous version of YouTube. Again, I don't know YouTube's full schedule for rolling out these features to every country uh, and region of the world. So you're either going to find branding in the settings section or you're going to find it here, which is the new and future section uh, in where to look for branding. But branding gives you the option to set your profile picture. If you don't recall back in the day, this used to send you out to like Google Plus, that nightmare and all that, or send you to a different Google page to change that. Now you can do that right in here. Also your channel banner, and it goes even further to let you know that you channel banner should be 2048 by 1152. A lot of people get confused by the channel banner because when they come into the section and they just see the slice uh, across the top of the screen, they think that's the size of the channel banner. And the reality is the channel banner is actually designed to fit on a full TV screen among other things. And only a portion of it shows when you're looking at it on uh, YouTube or a mobile device and all those other things. So it's definitely something to uh, be aware of when you're making your channel art and using something like Canva. And I think if you go to try Canva pro dot or no, try Canva Pro dot today. I think that's my link to go out there uh, to try out their pro upgraded version that gives you a lot of cool features. You can definitely check out Canva, but Canva also has a free uh, a free sign up with some features as well. So definitely check that out. I am I am so in in love with Canva and all the things that it allows me to do now. I've actually stopped. I used to use GIMP to make custom graphics, which is kind of like Photoshop. I've given up on that and I've gone uh, completely over to Canva because they just keep adding the features that I look for when I'm trying to make things. So that's super cool. Now the video watermark, like I was mentioning before, this is where you go in and you can actually add your little custom subscribe watermark button. If you're looking for a way to get people to subscribe to your channel within your video, the watermark is something that will appear over your video. In this case, I have it set to start five seconds into the video. And when somebody moves their cursor over it, it actually brings up a subscribe window. And if you want to add a little flair, a little customization, a little personality to your uh, YouTube channel and their videos, you can head over to tubetemplates.com. That is my website for affordable YouTube graphics. If you guys want to use the promo code CFSAVE25, you can save 25% off of all of your orders. In fact, your complete order, uh, regardless of the dollar amount, you can get 25% off that at tubetemplates.com. So that's a new venture that I'm working on, excited about it. It's fun uh, to get in there and learn how that whole e-commerce side of thing works. Depending on the type of content that you're making, uh, you, maybe it is like me doing digital at, uh, graphics and things, uh, things that people can download directly from your site. Maybe you have a physical product or you want to create a physical product in line with your content doing something like that, setting up your own store is, uh, it's, it's actually kind of fun to, to go through all the pieces that are involved in that. And it's also really cool to be able to get things to people in your audience that they need that can help them upgrade. And it allows it to comp allows you to compensate for your time and everything and effort. And it's just a great, uh, a great setup. So as you can see now in my watermark here, I have my little, uh, Thanksgiving subscribe button that's available over on tubetemplates.com as well. But from here, that's where a lot of the stuff has changed. And we've got basic info. This is where your description now lives. It used to be if you were on your YouTube channel and you put, uh, you did customized channel, it would just go to the old version of YouTube and you would change it there. Now they've moved the customization section here. So this is your 
uh, full description. My personal preference uh, on your description itself is to uh, lead with your core value, let people know exactly what it, what's in it for them on your channel, why they should want to care about your stuff. And then we also have channel links. I'm going to show you how these channel links work here as well. But you see here we have a variety of channel links that you can put, and these are going to show up there's a couple things I want to show you. So we have links here, in which case I have four. And then we have links on banner, which I have it set to five, but there's only four. So it's not going to show any more than that. But I want to show you what happens. So you can choose to have these links, which are going to show up in your about section. And you can also choose how many of the links show up on your channel art. If you have a bunch of like social media that you want to put in your about section, but you only want to put a subscribe button in your channel banner, you can set this to just show the first link. And I'll show you. So we have just for reference, we have four here. I'll set this to show three. We'll click on publish. And then we're going to see, and again, it might, there might be a slight delay. I don't know what the delay is about, but uh, that looks like it worked pretty good. So over here, okay, hang on here. Let's go here. We're going to hide that for a second. And then, so up here in the upper or up here in the upper right hand corner, you see, I have my three links. I've got tube templates. I've got my subscribe button. And then I have my calendar for consulting work. Now, if we went back into the YouTube studio, you'll see if I now change that section over here in, uh, come on, customization, basic info. If I go back and I set this back to your first four links and publish, you'll see that it should now show all four links, which it does. So we've got creatorfundamentals.com here at the end and then the other three. So like I said, you can put a number of different links in your about section, which show up in down here. And you can have more than the four or five or six or whatever it is here. And then you can choose a subset of those to appear up here on your videos. So, or on your channel art rather. So depending on where it is that you're trying to focus people's attention, you have that flexibility to do that in the new customizations tab. So we're going to pop back into YouTube studio. Uh, we are going over YouTube studio here in 2020 to show everyone where some of the features live. We have copyright over here. Uh, we have, if somebody has taken your content and tried to reuse it, this is where you would come in to deal with that. If you have that feature available on your channel, you can see all historical um, things that pop up. And that that's not all of them. Oh, wait, it must... They must only show you back on a certain period of time uh, because there's been a, a ton more than that. But maybe they're cleaning that up now so you don't see them quite as often. Uh, monetization. show. This is where you go in. I don't know if I can click on every one of these features, but just so you know if you have access to it. But uh, one of the things that you can do is you can now do digital products through Teespring and then on your merch shelf. So if you are into, if merchandise is something that's actually good in your niche, for me, it's it's never been, I've never even really tried to promote uh, merchandise, but digital products are a completely different ball game. So this is a, a digital product that I've created. You do have the opportunity to get it uh, available on here. If you did have it on, it would show, it shows up right below your description. Uh, that is definitely a way that you can integrate digital product sales directly on your YouTube video. So that can definitely be powerful. Memberships, if you have memberships turned on on your YouTube channel, that's where you'll see information about memberships as well as being able to make adjustments to your memberships and your different tiers and levels like that. Supers, both super chats and super uh, stickers. If you uh, you know do live streams and those kind of things, and people uh, contribute to your uh, you know make donations or whatever during your live streams, that's where you're going to find that. We have giving and then Brand Connect as well. Again, Brand Connect is um, their I guess their opportunity trying to set up brand deals for people. In all my experience with those brand deal websites like uh, Grapevine and those kind of things, I've never really found any of them to be super powerful in terms of really bringing you some good, some good stuff. So analytics is where you're going to find all the detail on your channels. Uh, you can come in here and go and look for 
uh, into the individual details. Traffic sources is always cool to see where your information is coming from. And then there's just a billion different ways you can slice and dice information here. On the right hand side, we have some real time data. It shows you what's going on on your channel, what videos are performing the best, what videos are getting views in the last 60 minutes, all of that good stuff. Comments, this is where you come to uh, deal with comments that uh, haven't been answered yet or that you wanna provide feedback to people. Your videos, this is where you find all of your, your details about your videos. If you wanna come in and edit any of that. And then we have audio library. I don't really use the audio library. Uh, I actually get all my stuff. You know, actually, so I've used Soundstripe for uh, audio here for a while. And uh, they were the sponsor of my conference people of video. And they just actually came out with uh, video on their platform. So stock footage. So now they have, you know, copyright or licensed music. Uh, sound effects, and now video stock footage that you can get with one subscription to Soundstripe. So if you've been looking for a platform that can do all those things for you, you can go to trysoundstripe.today and check them out. You can use the promo code Creator Crew to save 30% off of your subscription to Soundstripe. So, and they're really cool people, like similar to TubeBuddy. Uh, I, I have loved my relationship with Soundstripe because of the people that I get to work with. Really good people over there in Soundstripe. I think they're out of Nashville. That So this is uh, two templates that I've been working on. This is an opportunity to provide YouTubers with affordable, uh, YouTube graphics. So we have a variety of stuff here. We have your animated subscribe links that either show up as an overlay on your videos or a flash screen that you can just throw a voiceover and say, Hey, subscribe to my channel in a variety of different colors. Uh, subscribe watermarks. This has actually been a fun project to give you the opportunity to put a little style and personality into your subscribe button. We put out ones for the different holidays, different nationalities, and then a variety of colors, depending on what it is that you're looking for, something that matches your brand more on your channel. So if you're looking for that, extra bit of personality on your channel while also getting the functionality of encouraging people to subscribe to your channel, you can definitely head over to tubetemplates.com and check out all the products that we're adding. We're adding new products all the time. If you have any ideas for graphics that you would like to have featured or available on tube templates, you can definitely let me know. You can send me an email at askdan at creator fundamentals, and I'm happy to look into that and get those added as well. Like I mentioned, you can use the promo code. Uh, you know what? I think let's do this. If you use promo code creator crew, you can save 30% off of your entire order on tube templates. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.